Hello and welcome to the Golden Sports Hub. This is the 50th edition of the program. Thank you so much for joining us and thank you so much for all those that have been watching this program and for all those that have been supporting this program throughout uh, the 49 editions. My name is Modern Tapechela Sinkala. Today I'm featuring um, a boxer who is determined uh, to succeed in his career. So don't move an inch because I'll be introducing him on the show shortly. Feel free to participate on the program by calling 0211253025 or 0211150843. On WhatsApp, it's 0955202904. 0955202904. Then on um, Facebook, you can go to the post for today. I posted, I advertised uh, the, the guest for today. So you go there, you leave a message. Then the message will be copied from there uh, so that we read it here. So it's on uh, Sports Hub Facebook page or Modern Sync Color Sports. So if you go there, uh, don't forget to follow or to like the page. And then we'll be able to interact and also read your messages. On how much you know your sportsmen and women segment last week, I asked you to tell me who scored Zambia's equalizer in the final game of uh, the 1997 Kosafa Cup. That was the first edition or the inaugural edition of uh, the Kosafa Cup. And Zambia, Zambia played against Namibia in that game. It was 1-1. So... The equalizer came through David Siame. No one attempted to answer, unfortunately. So the equalizer came through David Siame. So that's David Siame there. He scored a header, which was an equalizer. And Zambia only needed a draw in that game. And uh, 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 David Siame scored an all-important goal. Actually, he's my neighbor somewhere. We do meet some, uh, somewhere in the neighborhood, David Siame. Very much available and um, uh, it should be a coach now. Right, so for today, I have another photo. I'm showing you a photo of a legend. Uh, can you manage to identify him? That man there is a legend of Zambian football. Who is that man? Uh, recently, I actually met um, his daughter, who is unfortunately not in football, but in netball. So who is that man over there? You can call us on 0211253025 or 0211250843 on uh, WhatsApp. Remember, this is only for WhatsApp, 0955202904. Facebook, it's a Sports Hub Facebook page and Modern Sinkala Sports. Before we look at weekend results, Let's look at some of the messages that you have been sending through WhatsApp and Facebook. And uh, the first one is from Chipasha of Umpika, who says, Kundana and my sister, you are a real footballer. We have seen the games you have played. So uh, that's a Chipasha from Umpika there. Thank you very much for the message uh, going out to Rachel Kundananji, who featured about two weeks ago. Then Muka from Lusaka says, Zambia national women's team have been robbed in that game such that even the devil is surprised that South Africa were given a penalty. <laughs> well done, girls. So <laughs> that's uh, Muka from uh, Lusaka there. Thank you very much for the message. So this was in reaction to the semi-final match between Zambia and South Africa where uh, South Africa were given a dubious penalty. Then this one, Anonymous, didn't mention the name, but says, uh, we are not happy with that referee. What she did is bad. All right, so that's feedback from you people. We appreciate your feedback. Keep those messages coming. Uh, if you can't send a message, you can call directly and give me the answer to that um, question photo. Who is that man on that Photo. All right, let's look at what happened over the weekend. We start with the Zambia Rugby Union League. Week 12 results in the National League. It was uh, Diggers that beat KPF 6 nil. Then Green Eagle 69. Dollar Wanderers nil. It was a whitewash. 
Muflira Leopard za 41, Concola 3, another big margin there. And uh, the much anticipated game between Lusaka and Red Arrows was postponed. Then in the President's League, it was in Changa 13, Nkwazi 29, Kansanshi 21, Ron New. This was a walkover result to Kansanshi. Then Green Buffaloes 53, Chibuluma New, another big result. So these teams that didn't score <laughs> any, <laughs> they have to pull up their socks. <laughs> From uh, rugby, let's go to volleyball now in the Zava Week 5 and 6 National League results. This games, these games were played in Kabwe. Uh, it was a flight. Spikers 1, Green Buffaloes 3. This was in the women's category. Red Arrows 0, Solwezi Akas 3, Prison Leopards 3, Unza 0, Kwazi 3, Unza 0. So Unza played back-to-back -back games there. Green Buffaloes 3, Prison Leopards 1, Sorwezi Akas 3, Kamala Magic New. In the men's category, it was Nkwazi 3, Red Arrows New, Napsa New, Nakonde 3, City of Lusaka New, Chalube 3, Unza 2, Prison Leopards 3, City of Lusaka 3, Sorwezi Akas 1, Nkwazi 3, Red Arrows New, Napsa New, Nakonde 3, City of Lusaka New, Chalube 3, Unza 3, Sorwezi Akas 1, Unza 2, Prison Leopards 3, City of Lusaka 3, Solwezi Akas 1, Unza 3, Solwezi Akas 1 again and then Prison Leopards 2, Chalube 3, Green Eagles 3, Unza Neo. So there were so many games which were played because they take advantage of uh, the venues when they meet so they would play the games in advance. From uh, volleyball we go to netball in the Midlands Netball Association Mina League week 11 games played at Kawe Tennis Club. So It was on Saturday and it was in Kwazi 43 Prison Leopards 38 Surprisingly Prison Leopards losing at home Kwazi um doing their best to make sure that uh, uh, they go on top The Naps are 50 spot in action 25 Red Arrows 40 Mazaboko United nil this was a walkover result Green Buffaloes 50 Lusaka City Council 21 Then Unza nil Green Eagles 40 this was another walkover result But the Green Buffaloes are still topping on the table with 33 points. They are yet to lose a game, uh, followed by Prison Leopards who are still on top. Then in the Zambia Pool Union Black Bowl League with 14 results on Saturday, it was Sharks 17, Finale 8. Uh, Sharks also doing very well. Uh, Bori uh, 7, Castle Embassy 18, Terminators 13, State House 12. Spice 8 13 Mumana 12 Triple 3 12 UTH 13 Police College who were supposed to school my guys but they are the ones who were schooled by my guys it was 10 15 so those were the results in the Zambia Pool Union uh, league so um, on top is Castle Embassy but they are at par in terms of points with uh, Sharks 39 points apiece And then in the Africa Women Cup of Nations so we go to football now third and fourth playoff it was Zambia up against Nigeria and Zambia shocked Nigeria beat them by a go to nil and uh, it was the first time that Zambia beat Nigeria and uh, the first time that Nigeria uh, finished fourth So Zambia got a bronze medal at the Africa Women Cup of Nations. Well done girls. So they've already started arriving. Some arrived yesterday, some are arriving uh, today, some will arrive tomorrow. And uh, final it was Morocco 1, South Africa 2. South Africa scored first, Morocco equalized, then South Africa later on uh, scored a win. So South Africa are the champions of the Africa Women Cup of Nations. They are winning for the very first time. Uh, though many people are saying actually the final was supposed to be Zambia Nigeria that's the final the third and fourth then the, the South Africa Morocco game was uh, the third and fourth <laughs> right so from um, uh, women's football let's go to men's football in the Chan qualifiers on Friday it was Ethiopia new South, South Sudan new Comoros new South Africa won On Saturday it was Somalia new Tanzania 1, Seychelles new Madagascar 1, Botswana new Eswatini new Gambia 1, Guinea Bissau new. On Sunday it was Burundi 2, Djibouti 1, Mozambique new, Zambia new. So the reverse fixture will be played this Saturday at National Heroes Stadium and the game will be played at 15 hours and 
ZNBC is likely to show this game. So if you're a corporate world out there, make sure you partner with ZNBC, you call the sales department. This game will be on Saturday at 15 hours. And Mauritius New, Angola 2, Sierra Leone 2, Cap Verde New, uh, Liberia New, Senegal 3, Ghana 3, Benin now so that's what happened over the weekend and before i introduce my guest in the studio let's dance let's dance to a song actually um Kabova has a new song so and that song is dedicated to the copper queens so we'll play a song uh, done by Kabova, a new song dedicated to the copper queens Over there with a song 
dedicated to the Copper Queens titled Zambia Kuchalo. Well done, Kabova, and uh, Copper Queens, we are proud of you. And we can't wait for the World Cup so that you go and nyunya those girls at the World Cup. Time for me to introduce my guest in the studio for today. He started boxing in 2008, but turned professional in 2015. His record stands at eight fights, seven wins, and one loss. He fights under Oriental Quarries Boxing Promotions. Ladies and gentlemen, we are so gracious to welcome Gracious Simwalizi on the program tonight. Gracious, you are so humble. I was hoping you'd be, <laughs> you'd come with that vigor. <laughs> yes, yes, yes. Thank All you right. very much for coming. You can come and join me Thank here. Thank you. All right, Gracious Simwalizi there. Mm. Um, eight fights, seven wins, one loss. First of all, let's start with your background. Um, give us a brief background of yourself. Okay. Uh, my name is Gracia Simali. I was born in 1996. I was born in Stone. Then in 2000, that's when we came to Lusaka, together with my, uh, my parents. Then um, uh, we were staying in Kabanana Maplot. We stayed there for some time, then we moved to Chazanga. From Chazanga, then we went back again to Maproti. Hey. Yeah. How many are you in the family? We are five. Okay. Uh, uh, two girls and uh, three male. I'm the last born. Oh, you're family. the last born? Yes. <laughs> okay, are you the only boxer in the family? Yes, I'm the only boxer in the family and I'm the only one who does sport in the family. Oh, okay. Yeah. So who inspired you to go into boxing? Nah, uh, in, in 2008, I went to, to the stadium with my friend. I had a friend. At uh, that time, I was staying with my sister in Mandevo. So when I went to, st to the stadium, he told me, that, ah, let's go, we go and watch some boxing in the stadium. I didn't know anything about boxing because that time I was playing football. So oh. I went to the stadium. Uh, he took me that side. And he told me that he was a boxer. He was doing boxing. Then he... As soon as we reached there, I came to find out that he wasn't even a boxer. <laughs> even in him, we just used to go that side to just watch boxing. Mm. So we went to the gym. I found a uh, uh, coach, Kenneth Kanyanta. He was training there. So then, that you are talking about the Independence Stadium gym? Yes, the Independence where, Stadium where gym. Yes, that's okay. where I went to. Okay. And I found coach uh, Kenneth Kanyanta. That side he was training. Was preparing for a fight. Okay, um, I have to cut you short. Let let me attend to James Kabanda from Luansha. Thank you so much for joining us. Good evening, James. Gerard. Gerard. Gerard Kabanda. Yes, please. From Mikomfwa. From Mikomfwa, Luansha. My son, good sports hub. Yes, sir. All right. What's your contribution on the program tonight? That. Uh, sorry, come again. Your line is breaking. Yeah, that's uh, um, uh, Boniface Simutowe. Boniface Simutowe. Are you sure? Yes, very sure. The man used to play for Cabo Warriors and uh, Zambia as a midfielder. Okay, let's see the photo again. <laughs> we see if he truly you are right. Uh, but yes, that's the photo. So what do you remember about, about him? I remember him as being a coach. He coached me at Prof and Warriors at one time when I was with Shai Shai Kumwenda and uh, some guys Matumasila and uh, some um, Koma and some guys. Hmm. Okay. So you used to be a footballer yourself. I used to. Okay. All right. Uh, thank you very much. Um, let's hear from others. So, Gerard from uh, Luan Shamikomfa says he's born face Simuto and remembers him as a player and coach. Thank you very much for coming through. Okay, so uh, you were telling us how you, um, uh, how you started boxing and how you went to the Independence Stadium gym mm -hmm. and how you found Kennedy Kanyanta there and so forth. I found him was training and I uh, got inspired by what he was doing and i said i have to try this i wanted to join from there from exodus but uh the coach couldn't allow us the late coach anton mom 
Because oh. he didn't like uh, kids coming to the gym there to train there. So that's how I went to Evergreen. That's how, old, how old were you by then? 12? I was 12 years old. Ah, okay, okay. Yeah. So that's how I went to Evergreen. Then I started from Evergreen. Oh, so Evergreen, they are the, the gyms are just neighbors. To mm, the they are just neighbors. Mm, okay. Mm. So there you were embraced and welcome mm, mm -hmm. as a 12 year old. Yes. Okay. That's Tell how I experience. started my boxing career. I trained from there. I had some amateur fights. I moved to Green Buffaloes. I stayed there for a year and some months. I moved to Red Arrows. And then Red Arrows, I stayed there until I turned profession. Okay. Yes. How was your experience at amateur level? Did you do, did you fare quite well? Yeah. I uh, did a lot of fights and uh, some good fights. And at the time I, I turned professional, I was prepared in, uh, like, to go for the Olympic qualifiers, the ones which were uh, in 2016. Mm -hmm. mm. Okay. Any medals to show for? Any medals that you can say, okay, I won this and that while I was, while I was fighting in amateur? I didn't come with uh, any medals, but I have them at home. Okay, yeah. Uh, which medals did you, did you win? Now nah, it was like from the uh, from the games like uh, Independence Day. Mm -hmm. What those medals like? I had them. Okay. I got those medals. Then the time I just entered into the, I was uh, preparing like for the national team. Uh, I was training with uh, Kenneth Kanyan at OIDC. Mm -hmm. He was preparing me for the what for the Olympic qualifiers. That's when I had to turn pro. Then that's when I got a chance to turn profession. Okay. When um, uh, uh, Mr. Munyam Singh mm -hmm. is the one who said that I want this boy. Okay, so before bef before we go uh, professional, okay, uh, let me attend to Gift Mwamba Gift. Uh, good to have you, Gift from Isoka. Uh, you are a regular on this program. Thank you very much for uh, coming through. How are you doing? Well, I'm doing fine. <laughs> okay, just a background. You know, Gift Mwamba was playing... Uh, uh, Madala's football, and then he got injured while playing. Uh, how is your injury doing? It's improving. <laughs> okay. Yes. Okay, that's good. That's good to hear that you are improving. Okay. What's your contribution on the program today? Uh, the question, the question you have asked today is quite uh, difficult. I can't, uh, I can't really uh, recognize the the, the person. Okay, but, um, let's see the photo again. <laughs> okay, you can't recognize that uh, <laughs> that personality. Yes. Um, but I would like to comment on the Copa Queen. Yes, yes, yes. Yes, uh, uh, we are really proud of them. And um, we have really shown Africa that Zambia uh, is really one of the big teams. And the performance that the, the girls showed um, would we, we, we could see that uh, I'm sure Africa saw that uh, Zambia is one of the powerhouses in some food. We are just hoping that even when you have come, they are going to put up that performance. Indeed, we are very proud of them. And uh, as they are coming, I'm sure I will give them a, 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 a wonderful welcome. Uh, thank you so much. Otherwise, those are where my way. Okay, thank you very much, a gift member from Isoka for coming through, and all the best uh, during your your healing or your recovery, and get well soon. Thank you so much. All right, gift member there. Okay, so um, we were talking about um, yeah. Um, before we talk about your professional, professional. yes, at amateur, uh, give us a scenario of. Um, you know the um, the fights the, the major fights that you had and the major uh, uh, opponents that you met before you turned professional that uh, that you are proud of like uh, my last fight the last fight i had in amateur mm -hmm. i fought uh, versus uh, francis nyendo okay yeah uh, uh, let's say uh, I'm sure we'll be able to see that uh, that photo uh, shortly yes how was that fight uh, that fight was good and uh, it was uh, my last fight. I showed, uh, I showed people to say that, okay, he's ready now to go pro. Because I won that fight by a uh, knockout in the second round. Okay. Yeah. So this was in amateur when you were fighting at amateur level, not so? Yeah, this was in amateur when I was fighting in amateur. That guy is, uh, 
<laughs> just forgotten his name. Okay. <laughs> yeah. Did you win this but fight? That was this fight. Yeah. I won by knockout in round two. Ah, okay. Yeah. So you were you had some knockouts during amateur? Yeah, I had. I had quite a lot of knockouts in amateur. Okay. Well. Yes. All right. So it was at that point when you were spotted by the national team coach Kenneth Kanyanta. Yeah. Okay. Mm. Um, uh, tell us how you felt when that call up came. Say, gracious. I think we want you to come to the national team. Nah, uh, it was really good. I felt well. I felt good. Uh, like, uh, cause uh, with Kennedy, I was with him at OIDC. So I even got used like to training with him. I was just busy preparing with him. Then, uh, then uh, he's the one who even got me a chance like to turn profession. Mm. Mm. Okay. Well, wow, because they had to contact him. Then that's when he came to me and told me that, look, there's this chance for you to go pro. Okay. And I said, ah, I'll take the chance. Okay. Mm. There's another image uh, when you were, um, I think you were quite young. That should have been 2013 or 2014. Uh, you were with some, um, other, some young boxers. <laughs> uh, tell us about that image. And <laughs> you were looking quite young. There, yeah. tell us about that image. <laughs> that image, uh, that was me there. Then uh, the lady, that is Juliana, Juliana Kasonga. Uh, next think, to you? Yeah, okay. the one next to me, that is Juliana Kasonga. So Juliana Kasonga is part of the under 20? No, uh. the senior national oh, team. Oh, the senior national team, yes. okay. Yes. But unfortunately, she didn't go for the what? For the common law. She okay. was supposed to. Okay. Mm, but she has represented, uh, she has represented Zambia in different games okay so that was juliana then the one who is down there that's mwengo that's the one who is under 20 now yeah, that's the one who is in under 20 now <laughs> how time flies <laughs> <laughs> okay. he even got a silver from uh resort oh at the region 5 games yes oh great mm. how time flies and the other one in blue blue the other one is stopped boxing i can't even remember his name as, as for now ah, that okay. was at oidc after we finished training Ah, okay. Mm. I mean, we are much a days we are, <laughs> we are quite interesting. Okay, so are you happy with the, are you content with how you fought at amateur level? Yeah, I am. Okay. Mm. Even though you are, you are struggling to tell us which medals you won, how many medals do you, did you get in amateur? I have about uh, six medals at home. Ah, okay. Yes. All right. In the trophy. Okay. Mm. When I hosted Simon uh, Ngoma here, mm. I think he told me in amateur, I think he fought about, should be 127 or so, then he only mm. lost about seven. Mm. Yeah, and then won about 120. <laughs> Can you remember me how had, <laughs> me had a lot of fights. Mm. Like Simon, I uh, watched him while he was starting boxing. Okay. Mm. Oh, Simon is younger than you in boxing. Yes. Okay. So, like, me have been in boxing, like, since I was young. Right. Mm. Well, um, so that's a gracious similarity. So, um, when you turned professional, what prompted you to go professional and abandon the, the, the trips, I mean, representing Zambia at uh, other, other competitions? Because uh, since, since I was young, I really wanted to be, a, what, a professional boxer. Mm -hmm. From just that, that time when I went to join boxing, like, when I saw Kenneth Kanyanta training in the gym, I said, even me, I want to be like him. I want to do what he has done. Mm. Mm. Okay, is, is Kenneth Kanyanta the one who inspired you to, like, to go further in boxing? Yeah, he's the one who inspired me a lot. Okay. Mm. Wow. All right. So, um, uh, your first professional fight, tell us about your first professional fight. Uh, my first professional fight was in Kitwe. Mm -hmm. Uh, at Chiller's Corner, that's where it was held, and that's the one there. Mm, that's the one, okay. Tell uh, us about that fight. That fight, I was fighting a guy who had more experience in professional, he had some fights, he had fights, then me, I didn't have any fight. That mm. was my first fight. Mm. So, even him was saying that ah, I'm going to knock this boy. <laughs> <laughs> that's what he was saying, okay. But he cannot knew to say that ah, I know this boy, this is my boy. Because he was even the one on my corn. Okay. That time, yeah. So he even said that uh, I know I know my boy is going to do is going to do well. What's the name of your opponent? I uh, he was uh Martin Manda. Okay, Martin Manda. Yes. Did you win? I won. Via Unanimous. Unanimous point decision. Yes. Okay. Tell us about your next fight after that one. 
after that one I fought against uh, Henry Shifita. Mm -hmm. mm, he, he was a boxer from uh, uh, Chilawombo. Mm -hmm. mm. How was that one? I won again. Again, again won by unanimous point yes. decision. Okay, after mm. that? After that one, then I had uh, a fight against uh, Kalisto Boya when he came back from the Olympic qualifiers. Mm -hmm. He turned pro. Mm -hmm. After turning pro, he fought against me. Then uh, I lost by split point decision. That was your first loss. And, and then mm. I felt like I was lobbed the fight. <laughs> <laughs> so I, I said that I need a rematch. So after that, my next fight was a rematch versus Cadiz. Mm. Then I won by knockout in round three. Wow. So you were vindicated. Um, mm. You thought you were robbed and now you had to win genuinely via knockout. Yes. Okay. So again, after that, even him wasn't satisfied. He said, uh, no, I need a rematch. So I, I said, no, oh, rematch, okay, that's not a problem. They gave him a rematch, then I won by knockout in the first round. <laughs> so from that time, then he He's said, never uh, called for a rematch again. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Um, after that one, uh, who did you face next? The next was uh, Philemon Hala. Mm. That was in Sorwezi. And Philemon Hara was more experienced than you were. Yes. Okay, how was that fight? Uh, I won by unanimous. Unanimous. Yes. Okay, after that one, that's when you fought at government complex. After that one, no, Kalisto. First, before, after I fought uh, versus Kalisto, I won by knockout. Uh, mm -hmm. The one I won by knockout in round three. Mm -hmm. Then the next fight I fought against... Um, against Phil Monihara. Mm -hmm. That's the one I won by unanimous. Mm -hmm. Then after winning by unanimous, again they gave him a rematch. Mm -hmm. That's the one which I won by knockout in the first round. Okay. Mm -hmm. Then after that, government complex. Then government complex. Okay. So at government complex, you faced a boxer from Malawi. Mm -hmm. uh, that's, uh, what's his name again? Obri Masamba. Obri Masamba. Mm -hmm. Yes. Uh, describe to us how that fight was at government complex. No, it was a very good fight because me, I was expecting that he, he will go like uh, up to maybe around uh, round six, round uh, seven, or maybe he will finish the rounds. Mm -hmm. mm, that's why I just started slowly, slowly, slowly. But he, he couldn't, uh, he couldn't manage to finish the round. And, and you recorded a, a knockout mm. that was in the first round. Yeah, it was in the first round in forty-five seconds. Maybe it's because you are tutored by the best. I can see Francis <laughs> Galagata Zulu on the left, a former national heavyweight champion. And on the right, I can see um, Coach Hastings Wadia Sting. Mm. <laughs> uh, I once hosted him here on this program. Mm. Uh, tell us the relationship between you and uh, these two uh, great boxers. Like uh, Coach Sting is my coach as for now. Yeah, he's the one coaching me. Even like uh, when uh, I had that fight, he was the one even on my corner. He was the one who was coaching me at the gym, everything. Like he, he's doing so much, like he's doing a lot. Okay. Mm, he has contributed to my career. So do you feel Obri Masamba was not maybe a, a good match for you? On that no, day? he was. Mm. He was a good match. Okay. Mm. But maybe you were just too good for him. No, I was just too good for him. Okay. Mm. All right. So in your in your professional career, you are yet to f go for a title fight. Yes. You've just been fighting the non-title fights. Yes. Okay. So your most recent fight was against um, Ali. Yusuf Ali. Yusuf Ali of Malawi. And uh, we have those highlights. Uh, the fight was actually in Chipata, Eastern Province, in June. So let's just see the highlights of that match. Yusuf is already on the receiving end with 17 fights, 10 wins, 5 losses and 2 draws. Yusuf comes here to get a victory, but gracious, he's not been gracious this afternoon, Morden. 
<laughs> uh, well, uh, Yusuf is using experience uh, because of the many fights that he's had. Uh, he might start on a bad note, but I'm sure he'll pick up as it goes. But Gracious is a very tough fighter, and uh, we see, we expect to see some explosive uh, punches here. Gracious is so easy. In search of his seventh victory. Wait for this. Yusuf Ali in search of his 11th victory. <laughs> Ali has risen. He started uh, uh, forcing some patches onto Gracia Simwarizi, but it's an issue of uh, too little, too late. It's one fight that uh, will remain dear to Simwarizi. So, Pass it was the heavy for his face. Oh, that looks very nasty. But Ali is still upstanding, still contending the pressure and the punches that are landing on his face. And, uh, and uh, uh, Aubrey Masamba of Malawi. And that's it. <laughs> Eight rounds. And the winner. And still, New Zambia champion is Gracious Simwalizi. Gracious Simwalizi, they are defeating Yusuf Ali of Malawi. That boxing fight was in Chipata, Chipata Golf Club, the oldest golf club in Zambia. Gracious, I thought that fight was going to be a knockout for you. I thought that was going to be your second knockout. What happened? Uh, as I even told you when you were giving me the interviews, I even said it, that every boxer comes well prepared. He prepared for eight rounds and it went all eight rounds. I don't have a problem with that. <laughs> and I thought maybe Yusuf Ali, uh, I thought Aubrey Masamba mm. is uh, stronger than Yusuf Ali, but it turned out to be the opposite. Mm -hmm. Every fight is a different fight. So if you expect like, ah, this one is going to come there like this, I'm going to knock this guy. Every fight is a different fight. Every opponent is a different opponent. You don't tolerate any opponent. Okay. Mm -hmm. uh, do you think Yusuf Ali was tougher than Aubrey Masam when you faced the two? Like, uh, as I can say, me, I th uh, uh, the way I see, I see that uh, Yusuf Wild was even stronger than Obri Masamba. Because yeah. Obri Masamba, I didn't even warm up. <laughs> so that first round uh, where he was knocked, I was even like, I was just warming up hmm. for the punches now to come. In the hmm. second, third, fourth, but it came out like it was a knockout in the first round. Okay. I didn't expect like it to happen, like, uh, like it to be a knockout in the first round. Okay. Where do you think your strength is in boxing? My strength is on my back hand, right hand. Okay. Yes. Ah, okay. Mm -hmm. Let's see, how is your training like? Even as we see visuals of you in the gym, mm -hmm. um, how, how is your training like on your day-to-day -day basis? My training, like uh, me, I train three to four times in a day. Hmm, okay. Mm. Three to four times in a day. I can see yes. there. Who are you sparring with? Uh, that's... Uh, Ignatius. Okay, he's uh, from your from your gym. From the gym, yeah. He's, okay. uh, he's still an amateur boxer. Okay. Mm. So on that, what were you working on? No, I was just working on the reflexes. Okay. Mm. As I was preparing for the fight. Okay. I can see you also have those antics <laughs> on the on the ring, like those antics for Charles Manucci. <laughs> <laughs> Have you been inspired by Charles Manucci? Looking at the way you are coming out there like that. <laughs> yeah, I've been inspired even uh, even by him. Even Kennedy used to do all those things. Okay. Yes. <laughs> uh, do you think those antics help? Do, would you do that on a, like on a real fight? Yes, I would. You didn't see like on my recent fight I did. Ah. Yeah. But it depends. You have to see first your opponent. Mm. You can't like uh, drop your hands when you see that your opponent has power. He can drop you down. You can't drop your hand. Okay. You've been problems. Right. Mm. <laughs>
Okay. So uh, um, uh, uh, tell us about um, uh, your training program with um, Sting. Um, what has he put you on? What kind of training has he put you on? And um, what kind of diet do you have? Last time I hosted Sylvester Mwila was saying he eats at least two trays of eggs in a day. <laughs> 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 so for you how is your diet like like um well, we are setting up a diet program uh with the, uh someone who is coming in uh is going to be the one in charge of my diet he will be controlling my diet he will be the one he will be like a manager managing my diet mm -hmm. mm -hmm. Okay, but ordinarily, are you someone who eats too much or you, you don't have appetite? No, I control what I eat. Okay. What I eat too much is fruits. I eat a lot of fruits. Okay. Mm. So for now, you are in uh, bantam weight. I'm uh, super bantam. Super bantam weight. Yes. For how long have you maintained that weight? And Super bantam since uh, 20 what? Since uh, 2019. Okay. Mm. So um, do you wish to be in that weight or maybe in future you want to move to another weight? In future, I'll move to another weight. I'll move to featherweight. Okay, all right. Maybe even I'll reach up to lightweight. Okay. Mm. So, um, for now, you are under um, Oriental Quarries Boxing uh, promotions. promotions. Yes. Um, how has it been for you being under Oriental? Because you were once with... You you started... Uh, you went to Exodus, though you were not accepted. You went to Evergreen, mm. then uh, later on um, Oriental. How has it been for you at Oriental? It's been okay. The only thing which has been there is uh, between me and the manager, the communication between me and the manager. Because at the end of the day, I'm the one who is the, who is the boxer. I'm the one who fights in the ring. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So even if I train from this side, I fight under this club, that's, uh, that is not a problem. Uh, what matters mostly is the communication you have with your manager okay. and the relationship you have with your manager and with your team. Hmm. Okay. Mm. So okay. So you train from another gym. I train from then, another gym, mm. but I fight for Oriental. Okay. Okay. Yes. Like and you I have train, another coach. Yes, I train with another coach. I train with Hastings. Mm. Is my coach. Then uh, Mr. Malunga does everything. Okay. Is the one managing me. Okay, and that's uh, Christopher Malunga there, um, uh, a man who's uh, at the helm of uh, you know Exodus Boxing Promotions without Malunga. I don't know what would happen. He's really worked hard. How is your relationship with uh, Malunga? Uh, my relationship with uh, Mr. Malunga is is okay. Like he, he's someone who's trying to push things for me. Okay. Mm -hmm. All right. And how have you related with other boxers? I saw sometimes I see you with um, uh, boxers like um, uh, Simon Ngoma, sometimes with Lolita Muzea, sometimes with uh, uh, Catherine Piri. How do you relate with the other boxers and what do you talk about when you meet as boxers? When we meet as boxers, we talk about boxing. Mm -hmm. It's time for boxing. Mm -hmm. Yes. Mm -hmm. And uh, like, uh, I don't choose to say that, okay, since this one is from this club, this one is from this side, I can't talk to this one. We, mm. are, all, we are all one. Mm. We are all in the same thing. We are all in boxing. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So we are just one family. Okay. Mm. All right. They are my brothers and my sisters. Okay. So you are yet to f uh, fight a professional, I mean, um, a title fight. Um, when do you intend to go for a title fight? When mm. do you think you'll be ready? Me, I'm ready anytime I can go for a title fight. Uh, the manager now is the one to decide, say, okay, now we can give him a title fight. Mm. Mm. Ah, okay. The manager is the one who is in charge of everything, mm -hmm. so he's the one to even push for a title fight. When he feels like, okay, now Gracious has, has to go for a title fight, that's when I'll go for a title fight. But the way you are feeling right now, you can face any boxer in in Bantam, in Super Bantam win. Yes, I can. Really? Mm. <laughs> okay. But I can see that your knockout rate is uh, the ratio. From the eight fights, you've only recorded one knockout. Is no, it that it's not one. Uh, yeah, just one knockout. Um, is it very hard to record a knockout? I've recorded three knockouts. Okay. Oh, three knockouts. <laughs> okay, yes. out of eight fights. Out of eight fights. Yes, but mm. still, it's, 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 you're not even reaching half. Is it so hard to get a knockout? Uh, when you go for a fight, you don't go for a knockout. 
when you are preparing in the gym, you are preparing that we are going to do what? We are going to fight. We are going all rounds. So it doesn't matter you finish rounds or you don't finish rounds. So long as you get a win, then that's good. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. A knockout just comes. It's not like uh, you, you are just a knockout guy. No. <laughs> <laughs> okay. All right. Um, obviously, before we go to our segment, we call what is trending in sports. Um, Gracious, what is the biggest thing that you want to achieve in boxing? The biggest thing I want to achieve in boxing, I want one day to be a WBC champion before I uh, before I retire my, with my what my boxing my boxing career. I want to be a unified champion. Okay. I want for to get a WBC, IBF, WBO, all those big titles. Okay. Like and Stevenson Shakua. I did follow Stevenson Shakua. So, um, um, in how many years do you think? Um, how many years do you think it would take for you to achieve all that? It would take uh, the way I see it. It uh, might take me maybe about five years from now. Five years from now. Mm. Okay. Who is the toughest um, opponent you've ever faced in the last eight eight fights? The toughest opponent. Uh, I think every, every opponent is tough. <laughs> like <laughs> you can't say that <laughs> the this was the, was the toughest <laughs> opponent. Ah, there's no one. <laughs> Whereby I say that Kwashana <laughs> <"Kwen penga na lusa." laughs> hey, hey, ah, well, well, I'm well. saved by the bell. No, no fight. I was saved by the bell. I went fully prepared, like ready for the fight. <laughs> okay. Um, they say boxing, you know, causes. Uh, Parkinson's disease and so forth. When you're going into boxing, did you uh, think of all that? Yes. Uh, people talk a lot like uh, about boxing, saying that you know you have Parkin- Parkinson disease, you have this, you have that. In everything, in anything you do, like in life, there al- there is always a challenge. There is always someone talking negative, and someone talking positive. Mm-hmm. So it's up to you. You choose the negative side or the positive side. Okay. Mm. Did your parents allow you to mm. go into boxing? They didn't allow me. <laughs> <laughs> they never allowed me, like, uh, from the start. But when they started seeing that, hey, this guy is good, they watched me on TV, on some TV programs. That's when they said, ah, let's leave him. Let him do what he wants to do. Okay. Mm. How can you describe your um, boxing career from the time you started in 20? Zero eight. How's uh, the, the journey been? The journey has been so good, like uh, so far, so good. Uh, mm. We are still pushing. Mm. Mm. Yeah. Okay. Wow. Um, I can see that. Okay. All right. So, gracious. So for now, um, we'll keep you. But for now, we uh, take a short break, and later on, um, we'll be going to a segment we call "What is Trending in Sports." their career stories on Sports Hub. If I was that bad, no one ever take me a picture I'm drinking. Why? Apart from sharing their stories, they are also subjected to different challenges. One, two. <laughs> Esther versus... <laughs> Sports results, musical performances. <laughs> Giveaways all in one basket. Sports Hub, live every Monday at 21 hours on TV3, channel 004 on Topstar. Yes, so every time it's a Monday, make sure you are glued to this uh, program where we give you updates, where we bring you different guests uh, in sports. Okay, so I throw it to Julius Mal- uh, Julius Malulu to give us uh, uh, what is trending in sports. Julius, good evening. Good evening, Morden, and uh, how are you doing this evening? Very well, thanks. I can What's see that you're happy to see me. <laughs> yes, yes, yes. Good to see you. You good missed you last week. Oh, yes. I wasn't around, but it's good to be back today. All right. What is trending? 
Uh, we have uh, so much that's trending, uh, Modern, uh, but uh, first things first. Modern, you remember that um, few, is it few weeks ago or a few months ago, we did talk about uh, Pat Sondaka yes. and uh, that girlfriend saga that was on social media. Mm. Now, good news is that our very own uh, Zambian um, striker has uh, finally gone off the market. He's no longer single. Uh, mm. He's now married. It, 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 it actually happened in a private um, wedding, Modern. He actually follows the food steps of um, uh, Fashion Sakala, who also three years ago uh, did a private wedding. So I don't really know uh, what the secret is about these, you know, public figures having uh, private weddings. But all in all, uh, congratulations to um, Patson Daka, uh, who's married to um, his girlfriend. Uh, <laughs> <Jim Pondera>. Tell <laughs> us who, <laughs> who has been married. Tell us. <laughs> so we'll I, I don't want to get into details more than <laughs> okay, I don't well, want to be quoted. But yeah, congratulations, congratulations to, to Pat Duck and Suilanjin Pondera. By the way, she's part of that promo which we just played. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, congratulations okay. to our striker. I'm okay. still talking about Pat Duck more than uh, he's been doing very well. He's been banging in those goals in the preseason as they get ready uh, for the season. So we're so proud and uh, we're happy to see that he's been banging goals. And we're, we're looking forward to seeing him uh, banging in those goals when the season um, uh, opens uh, come next month, uh, Modern. Um, we, we had, uh, last week, uh, Modern, we had awards. Our very own uh, coach, Bruce Mwape and uh, Grace Chanda uh, were part of the, we made the final cut. Uh, unfortunately, our coach, Modern, and uh, Grace Chanda did not win any award, but as a country and as um, football fans, uh, Zambians, uh, we are very proud that they made the, the final cut and we're hoping that in the next um, award, they should be, if at all they'll make the final cut, they should be able to uh, be awarded. But we're so proud of our very own uh, Grace Chen, the captain, and uh, Bruce Mopin. Now, something interesting, uh, modern is that. Uh I've ne you know I've never seen I've never seen these female footballers uh, wearing no, a dress. Grace uh, specifically, I've never seen Grace wearing <laughs> a dress. <laughs> that but was a look first at how, for me. But look at how lovely she looks. Yeah, here. she yeah, looks pretty in that uh, very uh, black very pretty. Dress, yeah. uh, I'm going to give her a call and tell her she, she she needs to maintain this swag mode. What do you think, though? <laughs> yes, that's a great <laughs> idea. <laughs> and, and also quickly, more than uh, Sadio Mane was also um, awarded. Uh, player of uh, the year. So uh, congratulations to uh, Sergio Mane, the Bayern Munich um, striker. Modern, we so who beat Grace to that award? The Nigerian. Asisat Oshola. <laughs> <laughs> the Nigerian. <laughs> she Lord won her fifth Lord award. brought a lot of controversy. People mm. thought Grace Chanda was supposed to um, uh, pick that award, but unfortunately it had to go to the Nigerian. So um, we move to the next item, uh, Modern. Our uh, very own fashion Sakala. Uh, is likely to move uh, to Spain. Uh, two teams have shown interest in him, but then Rangers FC Media is telling us that uh, um, he's still going to stay at uh, Rangers. So we are yet to see if our very own is going to move to Spain. But if Atoy is going to move, we wish him all the very best in his new journey. But as things are right now, uh, the uh, Rangers FC Media uh, are telling us or are reporting that he's still going to, to, to stay. Uh, still talking about... Um, the uh, players that are doing well in as far as um, representing us is concerned, Emmanuel Banda, he did really perform very well last season, but this time around, uh, Modern has been doing very well. He's playing in the Swedish league. He's doing very, very well, and uh, we're so, so much happy and looking forward to him coming to perform uh, in as far as playing for the national team is uh, concerned. Um, and, and lastly, um, on what we had in as far as training is concerned, uh, Alian uh, Diara, uh, the Malian midfielder, uh, has said goodbye to Red. Red Arrows uh, Modern, and uh, he's joined uh, he's joined the team in uh, Saudi Arabia. It's sad that Red Arrows is losing players. You remember that they lost uh, Trezor Shibwaba, and now they've lost uh, uh, Diallo. So uh, we're looking forward to see which players Red Arrows has uh, has signed this season. This is what we had in as far as social media uh, gossip is uh, concerned on the program. Tonight, Thank you very Modern. much. Actually, others are not gossip, it's gospel truth. <laughs> <laughs> Indeed. <laughs> All right. So, Gracious, uh, you said you once played football. Yeah. Yes, so I want to, uh, <laughs> you to show us your skills. There is the ball. You have to pick it and do some ball juggling. Let's see <laughs> whether you still have um, some skills in you. I think. Yes, and the time starts now. <laughs> One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. <laughs> okay, thank you very much. Okay, at least you've showed us that at least you played football. But I'm all right. I'm boxing. 
Ya boxing. Ya boxing eh. Hey. <laughs> <laughs> you have very nice footwork. Yeah. All right, so we end here. Thank you so much for watching Sports Hub. So join us next week when we bring another guest on this show. Don't miss. Remember, it's every Monday at 21 hours on TV3 channel 004 on Topstar. On behalf of my guest, Gresha Simualizi, a boxer, my name is Modern Tapechela Sinkala. See you next week. <laughs>